Welcome to the official IBU press conference for the men's 4x7.5K relay. Congratulations to the winning team from Norway. Second place going to France, third place going to Russia. Start out with the first leg. Lars, were you a bit surprised when Goranichev missed those couple of shots in the standing state? Uh, I'm not surprised, but uh, yeah, you never know. It was tough conditions and cold fingers and a little bit of wind, so anything can happen in uh, shooting. And I was just happy I managed to only use one uh, spare shot. So were your hands maybe warmer than his? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably. Vetley, you had a pretty great last loop there. Were you saving some power for that? I think uh, me and uh, Emilia worked uh, good together on the first uh, two loops. Uh, I didn't want to go in front, but he <laughs> pushed me uh, to the front, so uh, we worked well together to um, to have an advantage on Russia and, and the other teams. So, yeah, I felt really good uh, on the last loop, so I just tried and gave it a go, and it looked like it worked out for me. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Erlen. Were you having a few problems with the cold fingers when you were trying to reload that last time? Uh, I was... Uh, no, I wasn't cold on my fingers, but uh, my gloves are were so thick, so it was hard to uh, handle the spare shot. So, uh, yeah, it's more like that. Was that a typical problem today, wearing a little more clothes than you normally would? Yeah, that makes uh, a difference. Johannes, another victory. Were you pretty relaxed in that last standing stage, knowing you had such a huge lead? Uh, yes, I, yeah, for sure I had uh, a lot of seconds, so I just tried to take time and shoot, uh, yeah, shoot clean, of course, uh, but I thought I should uh, yeah, probably use uh, two or three extra because it was quite strong wind, uh, but I knew that I had time for that, so I didn't stress out so much. You seem to be the only one who was worried about their ears freezing. Uh, I have forgot to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Second place. Um, talking to Simon, who was the third leg. You shot pretty cautiously today. Was that kind of your plan to make sure that you hit those targets? Oh, yeah, I was a bit uh, yeah scared about the wind uh, on my prone shooting, so I took time to to shoot. And uh, yeah, in the standing, I heard that uh, Ellen uh, missed the two first, so I wanted to try to uh, uh, yeah save uh, that uh, margin I I got and to put all my bullet to uh, leave the range before him. I missed my last, but uh, I leave the range anyway uh, in front, even if he catch me <laughs> really well on the last loop. <laughs> Emilian, can you tell us a little bit about that battle that you had out there with uh, Dudley? Oh, it was a pretty great battle with Vettley. Um, he was really impressive during the last loop. Uh, I didn't expect about that. Um, just after the second shooting, I told him, I don't know if uh, he heard this, but uh, come on, uh, we have uh, one minute ahead, ahead the other guys. We have to, to race together, but no, <laughs> he, he attacked me a few seconds after, so whew, it was hard. But uh, yeah, he did a great race, and I'm happy about uh, my shooting, and yeah, it's good for the team. Third place went to Russia. Edward, you were one of the few to shoot clean today. Can you tell us how hard that was with the wind switching back and forth across the range? Edward, we. Uh, Один из редких, который сегодня успели справлять на ноль на стрельбище. Какой был ваш секрет? Микрофон. Еще раз. Работал в своем режиме. На лёжке, в принципе, ветра не было. Получилось отработать слаженно. Стоя был небольшой ветер и выцеливал каждый выстрел аккуратно. В принципе, все получилось благодаря этому. Actually, uh, no secret here. I just uh, did my job out there on, on the prone. There was actually no wind, uh, so it wasn't very hard. Whereas uh, at the standing, 
one uh, was a bit more windy, so I, I took my time uh, and I was very careful for each shot, and, and this is how I managed to shot clean. Alexander, what was it like to be the anchor for the legendary Russian relay team today with so many Russian fans out there in the stands in your first World Cup? No, it's not a problem for me to race in each leg, so uh, I did my job only, and that's all. Was it inspiring to have all the Russian fans there cheering for you? Oh, that uh, was really impressive, that they are cheering and screaming for us. <laughs> it's very important to feel support in a uh, foreign country. Congratulations to everyone. Any more questions? Thank you.